What's up everyone? In this God of War Ragnarok video today, I'm going to be covering the favour a stag for all seasons. Now I'm going to be covering this in full, I'll explain exactly how to get a hold of the favour and show you where to find all four of the stags to complete the favour. So first we're going to have to advance far enough in the main quest line in order to unlock another favour called the Vanaheim because this favour has to be completed before you can complete a stag for all seasons or even find it. So to get that favor, you just progress in the main quest line until you get to the Creatures of Prophecy quest. And on completion of this, you'll get to this cutscene here. After the cutscene, you'll complete the Creatures of Prophecy quest and you'll be at Freya's camp. You'll then want to follow Atreus out of the camp and head towards the quest marker. You'll see that boar there and he'll run away. And as you follow that through the cave, you're going to unlock the sense of survival favor automatically. Just follow the path through the cave following the boar and you'll reach the quest marker for Sense of Survival where you got to interact with the tracks on the floor. You just follow these tracks now and complete this favour, it's really easy to do and what this is going to do is take you into a brand new area of the game. If you do need a guide for this, I cover all favours for God of War Ragnarok down in the video description or pinned comment, go and check it out. At the end of the Sense of Survival favour, you'll drop into the crater area here. And then you'll just want to follow the path around and up the steps until you come to this mystic gateway. It's the first mystic gateway of the area that you're going to find. To view it on the map, you just want to go to Vanaheim and you'll see it all the way north of the map. It'll be the mystic gateway to the crater entrance. From that gateway, you just want to head left to it and climb up this ledge. And that is going to unlock the for Vanaheim favour automatically, just after this dragon cutscene. With the for Vanaheim favour unlocked, you are now able to go and find a favour for a stag for all seasons. And to do this, you just need to find one of the four stags. That will automatically unlock the favour. And the best way to do this is by completing the for Vanaheim favour. Because right at the end here, where you finish the favour by interacting with this other gateway in the area, once the for Vanaheim favour is complete... You can spin around and just to the left of that mystic gateway is one of the four stags. Just approach it and the squirrel is going to start speaking to you and he's going to advise you to go and speak to the rat back at Sindri's house. So just head back to Sindri's house and head left to throw an axe at this chime. This is going to spawn the rat in and you'll be able to press triangle on him to start a conversation. After the conversation, you're going to need to press circle to interact with the feed. And this is what you're going to use for on the stags to collect all four of them. And I am now going to show you where all four of these stags are. But there are some located in the jungle of that new area that we found at the crater. So I'm just going to explain to you how you can get to the jungle. Because I know a lot of people might struggle with this. This is all time stamped in the video description. If you want to skip this, you can now just skip to the first stag. And follow it on from there so you can find where all the four stags are. From the Mystic Gateway and just to the left, you just want to climb up this ledge here. <laughs> And then drop down the other side and you're going to want to head left. There might be some enemies around the area so just deal with them. You'll notice that the path splits as well. You just want to take the path here dropping down the ledge. And just run straight ahead you'll notice this torch. You just want to jump the gap where the torch is. Jump the gap again just by grappling that hook. And climb up this wall on the other side. Once at the top of that wall, you want to take a sharp left and head this way. However, you do need it to be nighttime, how I have it now, to get to the jungle. If it's not nighttime, you're not going to be able to progress. So I'm going to show you first how to make it nighttime. Before you head in that direction, just go through this path instead. Uh, if you've done a quest prior where you saved Burger, you would have been in this area and cleared it. There's going to be a lot of enemies and there's going to be an ogre and such, so take care of them if you need to. And you just want to head to the far end of this area. So notice the gate straight in front of me there, just head all the way to the left of that and there's going to be a wall that you can see if you've not dealt with it already with some uh, markers on for your spear. Just past that, continue forward. And you're going to jump over this ledge. Just be careful of the plants there. Because they're going to hurt you if you don't take care of them. And then once over the ledge. Just drop down this ledge here. And then you're going to proceed into the cave to the left. Just grapple across using this. 
And then grapple across again, just dodging all the enemies that might be here. And then at the end, there's a wall here that you can grapple up. Once at the top of this wall, just take a left. And you can run all the way to the altar here. And you can use this altar to change nighttime into day or daytime into night. And Mr. Gateway will be added to your map at this point, and there is a workbench if you need it. But just straight on from the altar, you can knock this off the ledge just to get back into the previous area. And now from here, we can proceed and climb this ledge here to go and find the jungle. Just keep going forward, and it will take you back to the area we originally climbed up to, where there was a fork in the path. And that's just here. If we spin to the left, I'll just show you where the wall was where we climbed up, just in case you were already at night time. This is where we climbed up and I said we could just continue to the left if it was night. So now just follow this path around here. And I'll show you where it's blocked if it's daytime. It's just as you get up to here. Now, if it's day, you're not going to be able to go beyond this point. So that's why it's got to be nighttime. And with it being nighttime, we can just continue through. We want to head over to the left here and drop down the ledge. And just keep what moving forward and going round. The river once ran through here, bringing life to all manner of flora and fauna. What became Climb up this ledge at the end and then you're going to notice the two dragon I statues. This is the up. entrance to the I jungle the and you need to follow it through this sword. cave to reach it. There's going to be some enemies to deal with so make sure you deal with them. With the enemies clear, just hop over this ledge here and be mindful of these plants. Make sure they don't get you. And continue proceeding through the cave, just taking out more plants as you go. And you'll have to shimmy along this ledge. Once you're on the other side of this ledge, you're going to notice this wooden fence here. Just destroy it because we need to climb up this to get into the jungle. Continue through the cave and jump across the gap to the right. And then just keep walking forward to jump over this log. And you'll find a mystic gateway. You're now going to be in the jungle region. So now that you have access to the jungle, you've pretty much got all the areas you need to get all the four stags. We still need to visit the sinkholes, so that's much easier to get to. However, some of the stags can still not be reached because there is one more favour to complete in the jungle. So if you haven't done this yet, you will need to complete it, and it's called Return of the River. So from where we found the jungle gateway and just entered the jungle, we want to take the right path here and just run ahead to this ledge. Drop down this ledge, you'll notice the poison to the left here. You can just circle around this poison and there will be an enemy encounter the first time that you approach this wall here in front of us. Once they're dealt with, you can climb this wall and just at the top of this wall, you're going to see a big dam in front of you. The first time that you climb this, there'll be a quick cutscene here and then the favour for Return of the River will start. Make sure you complete that favour because then you're able to go and get all of the four stacks. Again, if any guide is needed for that favour, I do cover all favours in video guides. Link down in the video description and pinned comment. With the return of the river favour completed, we've now got everything set up to get these four stacks. And they can't be got in any order, but I'm going to do it in this order. So just head back to the Mystic Gateway Crater entrance. Once there, we're just going to take a right and climb up this ledge here. And we're heading back to the one that we found to start this quest in the first place. The one that we did on the Favanaheim favour. Just drop down the ledge and head to the left here. And things are going to look a little bit different now that we've done the return of the river favour. We've got water here now. So just jump on the boat and you just want to head across this river. Just go straight ahead. You can see the shore the other side. You just want to... It, take your boat to this shore and get off once you're off this area will look familiar and right ahead is where you kill the ogre to get through the gate there might be enemies here again so just take care of the enemies if you need to and head towards that gate once we go through this gate we're just going to be following the same path that we took on the favanaheim favor so just follow the path all the way round you're going to come to this like archway here and there will be a fork in the path we just want to take the right fork and we want to crawl through this gap in the wall Brother. 
somewhere out there. There won't be any dragon to kill ah. this time, so just run straight ahead and we can climb up the wall in front of us. Once at the top of the wall, just go straight ahead. And this is where we found Burger to save him, where we took him to the Mystic Gateway. And the first stag we're going to collect is just on the left here. Now that we have the feed, we are able to interact with winter. it. It looks hungry. This is the stag of winter. And once you interact with it, it'll head back to Sindri's house. With that stag complete, we just want to head to the Mystic Gateway that is right yes. here. We've got three more to find. So just use this Mystic Gateway and fast travel back to the crater entrance. Now the next stag we are finding is the Stag of Autumn and we want to go to the sinkholes for this. If you've not already unlocked the sinkholes entrance, just want to climb up this ledge as always and drop down and head right this time. Now the sinkholes is straight ahead. Just past this where you see the poison to the right and you're going to see the archways in front of you. So keep on going down here. There will be some enemies to deal with so make sure you take care of them. And with the enemies clear, we can drop down the ledge, head through the circular archways, and we're going to have this zip line here to go down. At the bottom of the zip line, be careful, because there's loads of these plants around that are going to try and kill you. But just to the right of where you landed, there's going to be this gas here, which is poisonous. Use your axe to freeze the plant so you can jump across the gap and head into the next area. You are going to unlock another favor here that will cover in another guide, and there is going to be some enemies. So take care of the enemies. You'll notice this totem to the right, which will be keeping them alive. Just freeze that to make it easier. With all all the enemies clear we can now go and get the stag just head to the water where the boat is you'll notice the mystic gateway in the distance there if you've already been here you can just fast travel to it uh, but just swing across this and the stag of autumn is just going to be to the left of that gateway just go and interact with it and then the stag is going to make its way back to Sindri's house. That is now going to be two out of four. We've just got two more stags to go and find. Now for the next stag, we are going to need it to be daytime. So if you are at nighttime, what you're going to want to do first is just use this mystic gateway. And we're going to stay in Vanaheim. And we're going to head to the mystic gateway that we unlocked earlier when we unlocked the jungle area. So you'll definitely have this available on your map. Just fast travel to the western plains. And once you're out of the gateway, the altar is going to be right in front of you. Just interact with this to change it to daytime if needed. Now that it's daytime, we can just head back to that mystic gateway. And this time we want to travel to the jungle. So again, staying in Vanaheim, just head south to the jungle area and fast travel to the jungle entrance. Once out of the gateway at the jungle entrance, you just want to find the nearest boat which is straight in front of you. So just hop on the boat. And once on the boat, just head to the left. You're going to follow the river through this rock this. face and there's going to be a place for you to get off the boat. Like how he lost his eye. It's just on the right here as you get through the rock face. So just dock here. And once off the boat, we just need to head up these steps and go through this gap in the wall. You're going to have to deal with the enemies now. So you've got some trolls and other enemies. Just get them all clear. There will be one of these singing enemies. So you're going to definitely want to make that your priority. Otherwise, the trolls are going to be invincible. There'll be a second one about as well, so just look out for him and kill him. And with all the enemies clear, there will be a bit of loot to get, so just search the area. You've got this red coffin, an Odin's raven or whatnot, but just right to those is this here. Now you're going to use your Blades of Chaos to open this door, and this is what won't be available if it is night time. You won't be able to do this, which is why it has to be dead. With that open, you just want to push forward and cross this gap. And then just keep moving forward until you find the Stag of Summer. He's going to be right at the end of the path. And just like with the others, just interact with him to send him home to Sindri. This will be the third Stag out of four. And we've only got one more to do now. Be sure to explore the area that you've just uncovered before heading back. But once explored, just want to head back and go all the way back to the jungle entrance mystic gateway. 
Now for the final stag, the stag of spring, we need to make our way to the wishing well, which is a hidden location in the jungle area. Um, you can do this easily from this location though, from the jungle entrance mystic gateway. So from here, just travel forward. We're not taking the boat this time. And you do need to have killed those ogres from earlier in order to proceed, which is why we're leaving this till last. Just take a left as you push forward and you can just grapple across this gap. And to the left, you're going to see a door. Just interact with this chain to open this door. The door open, you can just remove yourself from the chain and proceed. There is going to be some enemy encounters on the way, so just deal with them. And destroy the hive right at the end so they stop spawning. With the hive destroyed, just turn around and you've got one of these wind vents. Just use your spear of L2 and R1 to create a spear that you can then just grapple up. And at the top, just continue the path, picking up any loot as you go. You just want to crawl through this crawl space. And eventually you'll come up to this door. Just interact with it to open. And then you're going to be in the area of the wishing well. Literally as soon as you enter this area from the point I've shown you. Just look to your right. And you're going to find the final stag to interact with. With that stag done you've got all four stags and you're ready to go and hand in this favor to complete it you'll also unlock the pure of heart trophy before you go though you're definitely gonna want to explore this area because the wishing well is just down there and if you make your way down you're gonna find like loads of crystals that you've probably been collecting in the area already anyway and you're able to throw these crystals into the wishing well to get yourself some free loot so it's an area that you're gonna want to come back to as you collect those crystals just to get that loot and don't go out the way that you came because if you head to the left and just keep on proceeding upwards you're gonna be able to create a shortcut to this area in the future just head all the way to the top here where you've got this doorway and head through and then at the end of this is going to be a chain which you can drop down this chain goes right back to the start of where the creator entrance mystic gateway is so whenever you want to return to the wishing well you just got to go to that gateway that you can see down below and you can just climb up this chain we're just going to climb down this chain now though we're going to go to that gateway and we're going to head back to sindri's house once a Sindri's house, we just need to go left. And again, we just got to spawn in the rat. So get your axe out and hit the chime of it. The rat will appear and we're able to interact with Triangle to complete this favor. And the stag for all seasons will pop up saying completed. And that does bring an end to this video. I do hope it's been helpful. Please be sure to hit like, share and subscribe if it has been. And go and check out more of my God of War Ragnarok content in the video description and pinned comments. Until next time, thank you for watching this one. Stay safe and peace out.